This is Jeff Billard from the Amigos Audio Collective thanking you for listening to the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. The following audio theater is rated ADG for general audiences. In a distant part of the galaxy, from a far-flung future yet unwritten, comes the adventures of a lone ship and her intrepid crew. Reg McCorum, ship's captain. Granier Kachowa, pilot. Shen Enling, ship's doctor. Gormar, engineer. Aiden Vosky, mechanic. Trapped in a burning warehouse on an artificial moon, can Aiden escape? Jabberwocky Audio Theater presents Rogue Tiger. Tonight's episode, Flat Rock, Part 2. Aiden! Aiden, where are you? Here. Is that you, Captain? Come on. Put your arm around me. The cargo. It's a trap. I know. Come on. Not much time. But the cargo. Damn the cargo. Use your legs. Come on. We have to keep moving. Just need to breathe. Keep your arm around me. Took a lot of time to cut into the warehouse. Patrols will be here soon. You understand, Vosky? We can't be stopped for questioning you looking like that. Back to the ribbons? Yes. I just want to come out a couple of blocks from the warehouse. We don't want to attract attention. I think I can make it. Just hold on, okay? I will. Let's move. Shouldn't we get back to the ship? I'll be watching that first. Besides, I need to have a talk with Lucky Louie. Aiden! Ah. You're not ready for the ribbons, are you? Come on. Sorry. It's all right. Just set behind these trash bins. We're a few blocks further, so we might be okay. Sit tight. Okay. Macorum to Tiger. Grania, you there? Here, Captain. But I'm concerned about you. They've set up a checkpoint near the Ribbon's dockside, and I'm getting some chatter on the wires about a fire in the Colchis district. Are you all in the middle of something? We're no longer squarely in the middle, but yes, there's been a complication. Is Aiden there? Thanks for asking, Doctor. He's here. Just a little winded. Hey. <coughs> Is he hurt? Should I come out? Stay put. All of you. I don't want our profile to stick out any more than it already is. Understood, Captain. So what happened? Short version, it was a trap. We lost the cargo, and we're meant to lose more. I thought you said we were doing this job for Hardin. That's not his style. Right. It might not be Lucky Louie's style, but he was working with Vic Ratha. Maybe Louie's pushing a bit too far. Maybe Vic was double-crossing him. Maybe it's your favorite former employer. The Xenocrity Cartel? I'm considering it. Still all a lot of maybes. So what are you going to do? The skimmer's just about ready. We can come get you. No. Keep working on the ship. I'm going to go see Lucky Louie. What if he's part of it? Then he won't be so lucky. I figured you'd say that. Listen, I think a patrol is coming. If I don't check back within an hour, use the skimmer. Understood, Captain. Both of you check in, okay? Aiden. What? Get in the garbage. Huh? There's a patrol coming. Look at yourself. Oh. I'm prime suspect well, material, aren't I? Just, just get in there. In the Are you telling me the cargo's still on the docks? Them. Hey, you there! I don't care what they say. I have a contract that says we deliver within the hour or we lose the bonus. Hey, buddy, Got we're that? talking to you. Excuse me? Who are you? Listen, I'm going to have to call you back. You got a hearing problem? I said, who are you? Who am I? I'm someone who's trying to find out why my cargo's sitting on the docks thanks to you people. I should just go out there. That's not what the captain wanted. Yeah? Well, maybe what the captain wants isn't in the best interests of all concerned. You think both of them are going to make it back? Maybe the captain didn't want you to get into another bar brawl, like our last time here. Hey, he was wearing my hat. Besides which, you didn't answer my question. Here is fresh wiring. Thanks, Tormar. Saved by the busy work. I don't know what the captain told you while I was out. But my understanding is that Aiden's proved his worth in getting us away from the Nukari. 
he'll be back. Well, you've known him longer than I have. Exit body, Doctor. It appears you are not focused on effecting repairs. Triage, Tormar. This is about life and death. With respect to your profession, Dr. Shen, I do not find your view of life practical. No? I understand your oath is meant to protect all life. Pretty standard for us medical types. Yet, the history of the span, even the Empire, shows that life is cheap. What are you getting at? Regarding those Nokari mercenaries, we destroyed one ship. We only disabled the other. What do you suppose happened to them? Nothing good. They were probably left to starve out there, or... Or their employers had them silenced. Dead men tell no tales. Is that what you want me to say, Tormar? It is practical. What about intrinsic value, Tormar? Doesn't a life have that? Your oath says that. The span says otherwise. Life must be earned. I give up. Enjoy the wiring. For a doctor, she is far from practical. She has a different way to calculate value, thank goodness. I thought you were going to get arrested. Misdirection. They spent their energy calming down an obnoxious spacer rather than spending that time grilling a potential suspect. I thought it was going to come to blows. I would have enjoyed taking a swing at one of them, but then where would you be? I wish it wasn't hiding out in that garbage. Ugh, what is this? Smells like durian paste. At least you don't reek of the fire. On second thought, I, I think I detect a few smoky notes. Damn, Vosky. You're liable to attract even more attention unless we get you a bath. Well, can I wash up at this guy Harden's safe house? Technically, it's not a house. It's just a couple of rooms in the building here. We also don't know how safe it is. Lucky Louie might be in trouble or be the trouble. Look, Captain, I've had a funny feeling about this whole deal since in front of the warehouse. This is all new to me. Good Louie, bad Louie, you know him, so... You tell me what we're doing and I'll back you up. You're not dumb, are you? How am I supposed to answer that? What's your gut telling you right now? You know something, don't you? Are you testing me? Is that it? I'm telling you I'm not in my element. I don't think we should barge in front if that's what you're aiming at. No, you're right. So is there a back way in? I don't know this building. There is. Follow me. Aren't there alarms? This is too low rent a district for that. Though Louis did boast he was in the chips these days, so be careful. This whole place is an echo chamber. There's Louis's office. Let me go first. Feel free. Down! Okay. We should be all right. Simple blaster rig for when the door opened. How did you do that? You moved so fast, I... You get I... older, you learn when to duck. But you've had a gun the whole time? Come on, Vosky, we covered this. It doesn't always pay to advertise. I guess Louie isn't here. Um, Captain? Behind the door. Well, well. See, Vosky, this is an example of someone not knowing when to duck. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Is that... Burned beyond recognition, but yeah. I'm guessing Louis Harden ran out of luck. You've been listening to Jabberwocky Audio Theater. Tonight's production, Rogue Tiger, Episode 7, Flat Rock, Part 2 of 5. Produced by Jabberwocky Audio Theater in association with Arlington Independent Media, WERALP 96.7 FM, Arlington, Virginia. Featured in the cast were Brooks Tegler as Captain Reg McCorum, Nick DePinto as Aidan Vosky, Aaron Goldstein as Grania Kachoa, Yasmin Toazon as Dr. Shen Enling, and Phil Amico as Tormar, with additional voices by Phil Amico and William R. Coughlin. Recorded at Big Ben Studios by Matt Bostaff. Music composed by John Maestri and arranged by Jason Chimolo. Supplemental recording at Tohu Bohu Productions in Burke, Virginia. Dialogue and sound effects editing by William R. Coughlin. 
Tonight's episode was written and directed by Bjorn Munson. This recording is the property of Team Jabberwocky, LLC, and may not be rebroadcast, retransmitted, or redistributed without express permission from Team J. The underlying content, including the script, story, and characters, remain the exclusive property of their owners and are used with permission. For all the latest episodes and information on Jabberwocky Audio Theatre, visit jabberaudio.com. Until next time, this is William R. Coughlin saying thanks for listening, and tune in next week for more Rogue Tiger. This is Jack Ward, and from every one of us here at the Mutual Audio Network, we wish you, your family, and all your friends safe harbor during these difficult times. Please follow the scientific and medical experts' advice, and we'll always be here for you daily at Mutual.